Hey guys, welcome back to Vice Week at Golf Ball Ag. I'm here with my next review, which this one today is going to be the Vice Tour. So the Vice Tour is the next step up. I reviewed the Vice Drive last time, which was the beginner ball. This is the kind of beginner ball, but it's the beginner three-piece ball. So this is if you've been playing golf a while and you kind of want to experiment with a three-piece ball. Um, according to Vice, it says that it's a three-piece. It's another DuPont uh, Surlin cover. It's extremely durable. That's what they claim. We'll definitely test that. And uh, it's got 392 dimples compared to the 312 of the Vice Drive. And really, this is kind of just supposed to be a forgiving beginner three-piece golf ball. Uh, excellent green side control, amazing gentle feel. It's supposed to be very soft, very squishy, and it's designed for players of all levels, meaning that no matter what your swing speed is, Vice says, hey, this still is your golf ball if you're just wanting that intro to the market of three-piece, four-piece, even five-piece nowadays uh, style golf balls. So let's dive in and let's see what we got. So the golf ball that I'm going to go ahead and put it up against today is actually going to be the TaylorMade Soft Response. So this was a ball that I reviewed recently and was really impressed with the performance. And honestly, it matches up pretty well with this golf ball. The same price for both balls, $24.99 retail. Of course, you can get the Vice Tour for lower than that if you buy in bulk. But MSRP is $24.99 for a dozen for both golf balls. And then honestly, they're both kind of that soft, not urethane cover entry level and meant toward the beginning crowd of three-piece golf balls. So honestly, I think they match up really well. I'm gonna test them side by side. I still have the numbers from that one. And yeah, let's dive in and let's see what we got. Hopefully this one uh, performs just as well as the drive did. The drive was awesome. All right, so putting and chipping around the green with this ball, it feels very soft, uh, very squishy with the 60 degree wedge, just kind of chipping around the green, putting with it, it bounces off the putter really quick. Uh, but it does definitely feel spongy and squishy. There isn't a lot of feedback there, but that's to be expected. It's definitely meant for medium swing speeds or um, you know guys that just don't compress the ball probably like professionals do, so that's to be expected. But no qualms there, so it performed really well. Nothing bad greenside. Moving into the 50-yard pitch, we're looking at 8,221 RPM. So that's actually a little less than the drive got, which is kind of to be expected with it being a two-piece. It did kind of catch a little bit more of the wedge, but that's still really impressive for this golf ball. With the soft response, I only got 6,819. So that, that ball was very, very, very low spinning compared to this. This is definitely going to get you more backspin on the green. It's going to get you more checkup. Even with the cover not being urethane, you're definitely going to get some rollback on that for sure. Uh, that is a lot of spin. I mean, even on my tour balls, I, I don't think I ever hit too much. I think maybe the Srixen came past that. But other than that, uh, that, that's one of the highest numbers I've seen. So honestly, very nice there. And then moving into the full pitching wedge shots, um, very interested to see how well it compresses. You're looking at 8,161 RPMs, which is awesome. I still kept it even with the pitching wedge above that. That means that both vice balls I've reviewed so far, the drive and the tour, have both stayed over 8,000 for the 50 and the full pitching wedge, which I've never had that happen. So that's really significant. I think it gives you good consistency. And if you're looking for a lot of spin on a golf ball and you're kind of you know a beginner and you want to know what spins like, that's going to provide that for you. So that's awesome to see. I got 95.5 mile an hour ball speed with the tour. Uh, with the soft response, I only got 88.25. So I might have I might have had a good day, but that's a significant difference. So I would say that this ball definitely blows past blows past the TaylorMade in that regard. Ball speed was drastically different, which means distance is going to be drastically different. Uh, but it might even out because with more backspin, you're going to get a little bit more height might come back a little bit and not go as far, so it might even out. So if you're looking for more spin, this is definitely the, the ball to go with. All right, so on the long irons, one of my favorites to test, there is a drastic, drastic drop-off here. It goes down to 5,411 RPMs on the long iron. I'd say the sweet spot's about 57 to 5,800 for me personally, so it is a little low. Um, you're not getting as much spin with the 7 iron or 6 iron, or six iron 5 iron, the longer irons. Uh, but overall, that's not a bad number. Um, the Vice Drive actually had over 6,000, which I thought was a little high, but maybe not for beginners. This is going to give you, I think, more distance. So I think guys who are an entry level into the three-piece golf ball, if you're needing a little bit more distance on your long irons, which I think a lot of them do, that could be why the spin number is so low. 
uh, compared to the soft response, the soft response I actually got 6,183. So it actually kind of kept the same spin level whether I was using a pitching wedge or a seven iron. Whereas this one's like, if you're hitting a pitching wedge, it spins back, or if you hit a long iron, it goes a little further. Whether or not it actually checks up with a seven iron, I'll be honest with you, I didn't get to test, but I imagine it would. I mean, it feels pretty decent, like it would get a good stop. And even with that number, if you stuck a green with a seven iron, I think it wouldn't roll off. I think for the most part, it would stay put. And then ball speed on the seven iron, uh, 112.6 compared to 104.5. Again, I might've had just a better day when I was hitting the vices. I might've been warmed up, ready to go. Uh, but that still is a drastic difference. I don't gain seven or eight mile an hour just from being warmed up. So there is a drastic difference between the two. Um, the soft response might have just been so soft that I was just not compressing it the way I should. This golf ball, I did not have an issue compressing. It felt really good off the long irons. Uh, just a slight firm press to let me know when I hit it well and also when I not hit it so well. The numbers are great there. Honestly, they match up really well with any other ball in the market, maybe even a little bit better. And then moving into the last one, the most important, the driver. I got 230 yards average carry, which is a drastic increase over the drive. And when it came to the distance on the soft response, I got about 222. So I, I that was one thing with the soft response I did kind of have trouble with was driving it far. I got a consistent drive out of the soft response, but I didn't get a far one. Uh, the Vice Tour actually got both a consistent and longer drive. It was very nice. Ball speed, 139.12 with the soft response, just couldn't compress it very well compared to with the Tour, actually 145.1. So that, again, just a drastic difference, six mile an hour. Um, honestly, felt really good hitting it off there. Let's see how it did on the spin. 2696 RPMs, that's right at the sweet spot. 2700 is what I usually do, average, you know, with a Tour ball. So it is right there, neck and neck in it. Uh, the spin on the soft response was 2331, which was the lowest spinning I'd ever had. That was kind of where that ball shined. So if there's one area that the soft response probably beats this one, it's probably that. But when you figure that I got more distance carry, I'll take that trade. So just like the uh, drive, the tour has basically the same design, the great vice logo on the front, the alignment bar on the side there that looks fantastic. It's got that, uh, the, the name of the golf ball there looks really well done. Um, it's just got a simple look, but honestly, it's got kind of this nice look that just when you see it, you recognize it, it's unique, it's unlike anything else. Um, so yeah, still just a great job designing the ball. So durability. So I did give the, the Vice Drive a passing grade because it did actually perform pretty well. It had some cuts on it, but it would get you through 18. So the big question is, is this ball going to get you through 18? At $25 a dozen, it's still in that low range, so that's kind of where I would I would put it at. Um, if it gets you through 18, I'd say it has a passing remark, and it definitely does. It's actually better than that. Um, looking at these pictures, guys, as you can see, there's not too many scratches. There's not too many scuffs. I mean, honestly, it's a little dirty, and you can tell it's just a tiny bit beat up. Uh, but this is after about 70 to 80 shots, so uh, it still looks really good. I, you know, I've chipped, putted. I've played a couple of golf holes with it, and it still looks like that. I would say this ball might even get you through two rounds. Um, which is really nice. Uh, you don't see a lot of golf balls in this price range have that tough of a cover. Um, and even after blasting it with 15 wedge shots, it still looks really good. That's, that's an A, guys. I mean, that's definitely the best you're going to get for the price when it comes to durability. Very impressive. So then who is this golf ball for? Well, um, honestly, I think it's for anyone who's looking to break into the three-piece market and doesn't want to spend a lot of money. Um, when it comes to the price and value for what you're getting, uh, it's one of the best. I mean, honestly, it really is. If you buy in bulk, you can get them for $16.99 a dozen. If you just choose to buy one, like from your local Target, it's $25, which is just as much as any other ball on the market. Um, even, you know, I, I talked about how the soft response at $25 was honestly one of the less expensive big major brands for a three-piece. Honestly, it was, it was really surprising. So getting a, a ball that performs so much better and has a lot more... Um, I wouldn't say it's tougher because the soft response cover was was really tough. I mean, it was an A+. Plus. It was about as good as you can get, but it's tailor-made. I expected that. Um, for what you get, guys, honestly, I think if you're looking for a good three-piece golf ball that's just kind of for every type of golfer, whether you swing fast, swing slow, um, I got really impressive numbers with this. Maybe if you swing super slow, I would go with the Vice Drive if you're looking to get into the Vice. Um, but I would say that if you're any other type of golfer, giving this one a try to start out with, if you've never played a three-piece ball, it's definitely a, a good one to try for sure. The numbers were fantastic.
So in conclusion, guys, honestly, it's a fantastic golf ball. It plays really well. I think for the price, it holds up just amazing. The numbers are there. You know, the numbers are there. The numbers don't lie. And I would say that if you are trying to get into that three-piece market, you're not going to find a better option, especially if you like to buy in bulk and especially if you've been thinking about getting into the vice. If that's why you're here and you're like, no, I really want to order vice. I'm just trying to figure it out. If you're looking for a good, soft, forgiving ball, this is probably the one for you, especially when it comes to the three-piece. After this, they kind of get into the more tour line, which is what I will be reviewing tomorrow. It's actually, we got the, the Vice Pro Soft tomorrow. So that's going to be their tour line, but for slower swing speeds. And we're going to see how that one is. But thanks, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. We still got more Vice videos coming uh, during Vice Week. I appreciate you being here. And as always, keep watching and keep saving. Thanks so much.